What makes me decide to want to know about India? Structures that it looks in impressive. The One in Mexico, I have Machu Picchu. Namaste, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Thinking Nature channel where we talk and write things related to India. So thank you so much for passing by one more day. You know, mi casa es tu casa. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying this channel as much as I'm enjoying doing these videos for you guys. Uh, today I have this, this video I think is very special for me. I will tell you why, but first I want to say thank you for all, the, all your subscribers, all your family Thinking Nature because we passed the 60,000. Thank you so much. I, I don't have words to appreciate the big family that we are and how supportive you are and how you have been welcoming with open arms uh, and this video is special for me because thanks to this place that I saw a, a picture in Facebook is what what makes me decide to want to know about India to makes me decide to want to see what is all this about so I want to see this video is I want to get more explanation of this place because when I saw a picture I just fall in love with the place and say, oh my God, one day I have to be there. So I want to check this video. I, let's watch it together. And then we talk about this. Let's check Elora Caves. Guys, this is the world famous Kailasa temple at Elora. And let's look objectively into who could have built this amazing structure. By the end of this video, I hope you will agree with me that our history is completely wrong and that this temple was built by a very advanced civilization. What's so special about this temple? This temple was not constructed by adding stone blocks, but an entire mountain was carved to create this temple. That's impressive. This is the only temple in the whole world where a mountain was cut out from the top to create a structure. In yeah, all other impressive. temples and caves, even in Elora and rest of the world, the rock was cut from the front and carved as they went along. The whole world has followed a rock cutting technique called cut in monolith, while Kailasa Temple is the only one that has used the exact opposite technique called cut out monolith. To see why this rock cutting technique is so different, let's take a look at this pillar that's over 100 feet tall. Notice how small human beings look when compared to this pillar. Normally, yeah. to create such a huge pillar, it would take years of work carving accurately yeah. on a huge rock. But this pillar was carved by scooping out all the pieces of mountain around it. You can imagine the amount of rock which has been removed to create this pillar. Historians yes. and archaeologists are confused because of the sheer amount of rock that was removed in this temple. Archaeologists confirm that over 400,000 tons of rock had to be scooped out, which would have taken not years, but centuries of human labor. Historians have no record of such a monstrous task and they think that this temple was built in less than 18 years. Wow, let's do a simple math with other and ones. see if historians could be right. I'm going to assume that people work every day for 18 years and for 12 hours straight with no breaks at all. I'm going to ignore rainy days, festivals, war time and assume that people work like robots maybe a lot of slaves i'm also going to ignore the time taken to create intricate carvings and complex wow. engineering design and planning and just focus on the removal of rock if 400,000 tons of rock were removed in 18 years 22,000 tons of rock had to be removed every, every year, year. This means that 60 tons of rock was removed every day, wow. which gives us 5 tons of rock removed every hour. I think we can all agree that it's not it's even impossible. possible today to remove 5 tons of rock from a mountain every hour. 
not even with the so-called advanced machines we have. But I, so if it's not humanly possible, was it done by humans at all? Was this created with the help of extraterrestrial intelligence? Now, forget about creating such an extraordinary structure. Can human beings at least destroy this temple? In fact, Aurangzeb, a Muslim king, employed a thousand workers to completely demolish this temple. Really? Why? In 1682, he ordered that the temple be destroyed so that there would be no trace of it. Records show that a thousand people worked for three years and they could only do a very minimal damage. That's they could horrible. break and disfigure a few statues here and there, but they realized it's just not possible to completely destroy this temple. Aurangzeb finally gave up on this impossible task. Note that this attempted destruction is very similar to another mysterious structure called the Menkaris Pyramid in Imagine. Egypt. Another Muslim ruler wanted all the pyramids to be destroyed and started his work from the Menkaris Pyramid. After years of trying, he was only able to make a small dent on the pyramid. He gave up too, where all these all indestructible the structures Mexico. around the world created by extraterrestrials. Is that why human beings are not even able to destroy them? In fact, archaeologists agree that Kailasa Temple was created before any other temple in the Ellora Cave Complex. Could this have been built centuries before human beings started carving other temples nearby? Is this why the architecture, the design, and the size That's is amazing. so much it looks better so and bigger than other temples? If it was built by humans, it's logical to expect that the rock cutting techniques and design would become better over time. People would gain more experience and knowledge and make better Look structures that, in the impressive. future. However, the Kailasa Temple is the oldest and the biggest temple carved with engineering perfection. Unlike other temples, the Kailasa is the only temple that's visible from the air. Out of 34 temples, all carved side by side, Kailasa Temple stands out and you can see it while flying over it. Is this just a coincidence? Or was it designed for people to see it from the air, like Nazca Lines of Peru? Even on Google Earth, the aerial view of Kailasa Temple clearly shows Impressive. an X mark. Yeah. This is how it looks from the top, and you yeah. can see a circular design that is studded with four lines that create oh, this huge okay. X mark. Was this created as a signal for extraterrestrials who can spot the location while flying? Unlike other temples of Elora, notice how well its rectangular design is oriented with all the four directions. Its entrance faces perfectly to the west. Is this another coincidence too? Unlike most other temples of Elora, this temple has bridges that connect towers. Wow. Rainwater harvesting systems. Drainage systems. It's so impressive. Hidden underground passages. Secret peepholes that can show people walking in. Ooh. Elaborate balconies in different areas and complex stairways that connect multiple levels and all of this had to be planned accurately before they started carving the mountain. For example, you cannot carve these two structures separately and then decide to build a bridge later. No connecting rocks or external rocks were used at all and everything was carved perfectly from one mountain. Do you still believe that this was done 
with chisels, hammers, and pickaxes by people with limited mathematical and architectural knowledge. I hope we can all agree that the Kailasa temple was built by a much advanced civilization whether it originated in earth or elsewhere. I'm finding a lot of mysterious places like this so please do subscribe yeah. to my channel. Your opinion is very valuable whether you agree with me or not so please do leave a comment. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon. Wow, that was really, really interesting to be watching. I have to say it was, it's something that even uh, when you see the pyramids of Giza in Egypt, the one in Mexico, Machu Picchu, I think so, they're located in a position that is like similar to start something like that. It really, when you start digging into this, it's really amazing how these kind of structures were built, including Alalura Caves. And it's impressive just how a place like that was built, like that many years, 18 years, that was extremely fast for how the, the, the size of that building look. Because even if you see the Sagrada Familia in Spain, in Barcelona, uh, it took like years and years and more years and even more years to finish it. And it's still not 100% finished, you know? So 18 years in that time to build this, it's just crazy that's just really 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 impressive i don't know if uh, all of you can like understand that magnitude of time 18 years for carbon rocks in that time i don't think even in this time will be will be factible in 18 years that's amazing i i am so impressed of this place i really want to see it and like i said before this place was one of the reasons why i decided that i need to go to india because when i saw it my eyes could not believe it. like that place existed though was like photoshop or something like that uh, and looking at, at it, it's just like so impressive for me. It reminds me a little bit to Angkor Wat in Cambodia as well. It's really amazing place and I love it. Uh, so I definitely want to see what is my best route to arrive this place. If you can tell me guys, I will be extremely grateful because I hear it's a little bit complicated. It's not really the easy way, like for example, Taj Mahal, that you really is, have to go for other ways. But if you can help me how to get there, I hear that the best way is going to Mumbai and from there start making your way. But if you know a quicker route or an easy way, just put leave in the comments because like, you know, this place is one in my bucket list of definitely I have to go, you know, because even Taj Mahal, I saw it before and they say, oh, it's beautiful, white, big, but it, it never called me like Alora Caves, you know, Alora Caves for me, that's why it's so special. Thank you so much for, uh, guys for watching. Hopefully you can help me and see you tomorrow with another video. Have an amazing weekend.